In this video, I want to talk about the dot product. The dot product goes by several different names, the scalar product or the inner product. Now, the dot product is an operation between two vectors. So this is the notation for the operation of taking the dot product. What does this give us? It gives us, in fact, a number, and that scalar can be calculated a number of different ways. The dot product is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of an angle. We have to be really careful that we get the right angle. This angle is defined as the angle between the vector A and B when tail to tail. If I have here's A and here's B, this is the angle between them when they're tail to tail. This is the angle that is defined as cosine theta when we calculate the dot product. Another way is if the components are known, we can calculate the dot product by the x component of A times the x component of B plus the y component of A times the y component of B. And then if we have a z component, so this becomes an easy way to calculate it if we know the component form. So let's do an example. Since we have the components, I think the uh, easiest way to calculate this is going to be using the components. A dot B is equal to the X component of A, which is three, times the X component of B, which is six, plus the Y component of A, which is minus five, times the Y component of B, which is two, this is 18 minus 10 is equal to 8. If there were units, the units would be the product of the units of vector a and b. That was calculating the dot product using the components. Now, what if I want to find the angle between them? I think I would want to use the other form of the dot product a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. I already know the dot product. I've calculated that. That's 8. And I can calculate the magnitudes of each given the components. The magnitude of a is the square root of the sums of the squares of the components. So that's 9 plus 25. If I put that in my calculator, that's about 5.83. The magnitude of B is 6.32. Put these, all of these three, in here. I find cosine theta is equal to A dot B, the dot product, over the product of their magnitudes, which is 8 over 5.83 times 6.32, and that gives me an angle of 77.5 degrees. I want to explore a little bit some properties about the dot product. The dot product of parallel vectors is the product of their magnitudes. And when I say parallel, I mean they're pointing in the same direction too. If I have A and B, I would call that parallel. We usually refer this to anti-parallel. It's not exactly the opposite of parallel, but that's the jargon we use to, to distinguish if we have vectors that where the, the lines themselves are parallel, but they're either pointing in the same direction we call parallel or pointing in opposite directions we call anti-parallel. And so if they're parallel, uh, A dot B is just the product of AB. If they're anti-parallel, then A dot B is equal to negative, the product of their magnitudes. And you could see that directly just from their, our geometric definition of the dot product. If they're parallel, theta is 0, cosine is 1. And if they're anti-parallel, then theta is 180 degrees and cosine theta is negative 1. But that's just sort of to, there's no reason to go through that computation in your head each time you encounter this. It's better just to remember this, that if they're parallel, the dot product is equal to the product of their magnitudes. In addition to that, we have if A and B are perpendicular, then A dot B is 0. If they're perpendicular, cosine of 90 degrees is 0. But it's better just to remember this directly because you, you encounter that a lot and you can just identify immediately that if A and B are perpendicular, then the dot product is equal to 0.
Another way to look at the dot product is to consider the projection of one vector upon another. Let's say this is my vector a, and this is my vector b. I can always translate my vectors without rot rotating them, so I'm translating them so that they're, they're tail to tail. What if I were to look at the magnitude of a times the projection of b on a? And what is the projection of b on a? Well, projection means I take b, I go to the tip of b, I draw a line to a such that it makes a right angle. And the projection of b on a, then, is the length of this line segment. Well, what is the length of that? Well, it's the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between a and b. A multiplied by the projection of b on a is a b cosine theta, which is the dot product. It's telling you the degree to which two vectors are aligned. It's giving you the, the magnitude of one times the projection of one on the other. It goes the other way. And in this case, if I sort of extend the line out of b, and now I want the projection of a on b, I draw a line from the tip of A to the line that contains B such that it makes a right angle. The projection of A on B is this line segment. B times the projection of A on B is equal to B times A cosine theta. Well, that's just equal to A B cos theta. You can look at it either way. The projection of A on B times the magnitude of B, or the projection of B on A times the magnitude of A dot product is commutative. Uh, finally, let's take a look at uh, unit vectors for a minute. Of course, unit vectors are uh, perpendicular to each other. The dot product of the cart any two other Cartesian unit vectors is equal to zero. Of course, I dot itself is then equal to one. So any, any uh, Cartesian unit vector dotted with itself is one any Cartesian unit vector dotted with another one is equal to zero. And any vector that's dotted on a Cartesian unit vector gives you the component along that axis. And that you can see just from sort of this interpretation that we had before, right? It's the, the magnitude of one vector. So if we look, the magnitude of the unit vector is just equal to one times the projection of the other vector on on the first vector. So if we look at the magnitude of the unit vector is 1, and the projection of b on i hat is the x component, b cos theta, where theta is now the angle between the b vector and the unit vector. And then finally, of course, any vector dotted with itself is equal to the magnitude of that squared, and that's again easily seen with our geometric interpretation of the dot product.